Hey guys, in this video, let's discuss hosting plans in Azure functions. So hosting plan, it provides the required hardware and infrastructure to run our function code. That is, it provides the required CPU and memory to run our code. Now as hosting plan, it can be consumption or there is something called flex consumption or premium or app service that is dedicated plan. Now as generally, so again, there is no hard and fast rule, but generally we will use consumption or flex consumption for our local or dev environment. And we will use either premium or app service plan for our staging and production environment. And for test environment, it depends on the budget of our project. So if price is not the issue, then we can go ahead with premium or app service plan for test environment. But generally we will go with consumption plan or flex consumption for our test environment. And now let's discuss the difference among these plans and when we should choose which one. So again guys, we will go ahead with consumption or flex consumption generally for our local or dev environment. And we will go ahead with premium or app service plan for our staging or production environment. So generally for infrequent load that is in case if our application is not consistently used in that case we can go ahead with consumption or flex consumption see guys our dev or test environment it is not consistently used so generally we test or we use those application when we deploy a new feature or even if it's being used it is used by less number of users that is either we as a developers are testing or testers they are testing it right but for application which has consistent workload so again for example production side we should go ahead with premium or app service plan now guys you may have a question that when we should choose premium versus app service plan right so generally if you already have app service plan where you have hosted your production or staging sites so again you already have app service plan and it has the capacity to host our function app so in that case we can host our function app in this app service or dedicated plan but if you don't have app service plan and you have a completely newly created function app then in that case you can go ahead with that premium plan for your production environment then cost see guys cost of pricing let us not discuss now we will discuss in detail in our next video but as of now just remember that for consumption and for place consumption the cost is less as you can guess for premium it's high and for app service plan it depends on that app service plan so again we will discuss pricing in detail in our next video then there is something called cold start see guys when we are using consumption plan so when we hit our function app for the first time that is when we call our function app for the first time there will be cold start so cold start it means it will take a few minutes for our function app to execute for the first time after that there will not be cold start but for the first time there is cold start so for consumption yes there is cold start but for flex consumption or premium or app service no cold start see guys in flex consumption and premium there is no cold start because azure provides us pre-warmed instances but guys there is a difference in between pre-warmed instances for flex consumption and for premium see for premium for pre-warmed instances we have better control that is we can specify how many pre-warmed instances we need for example one or two but in case of flex consumption azure provides us the pre-warmed instances but we don't have any control over that and in app service plan again as we have dedicated instances so there is no cold start then support for vnet integration or private endpoint so in consumption plan vnet integration or private endpoint is not supported so guys what is vnet integration and what is private endpoint we have already discussed in our last video but 
vnet integration and private endpoint it is supported in flex consumption plan it is supported in premium plan and for app service plan it depends on your app service plan so for example if you are using low cost or free app service plan then it is not supported but generally if you are using premium app service plan yes it is supported then there is something called function timeout so guys for consumption or flex consumption by default function timeout is 5 minutes and max it can be 60 minutes but technically for premium or app service plan there is no such limit so guys here if you see this flex consumption plan it kind of sits in between this consumption plan and this premium plan right and it has almost equal features as that of this premium plan right but again the cost for this flex consumption it will be less so guys again this flex consumption it has been newly introduced by azure so though flex consumption and premium it has almost equal features but still for our production workloads that is when we have consistent workload we should go ahead with premium plan so that's it guys for this video and then in our next video let's discuss the cost that is pricing in detail for this hosting plans